In this video, I'll teach you how to detect drones using a dedicated drone detection model from Autralytics. We'll start off by downloading and setting up this model in our own Python IDE. And then at the end, we'll learn how to run inference on videos using this particular model. This tutorial is going to be very informative and very short as well. So let's get started. Welcome back guys and let's get started. So as usual, we are not going to do any installation because the code, the files we'll be using in here and all the requirements will be on my GitHub repository where you can leverage them and use it for yourself. The link will be under the YouTube video description. So make sure you check it out. So to start off, we need to download the particular model we'll be using to detect the drones. And that model is on this particular GitHub repository. The link will also be in the video description. So immediately you open here, you just need to scroll down. Here we have ton of models. So we have model for face, we have model for football, model for parking, and a model for drone. And in both instances, we have a nano version of the model and a medium version of the model. So we'll be downloading the medium version, which is more accurate but computationally expensive so if you don't have gpu or graphics card uh, my advice is that you download the nano version and test it but if you have graphics card or you want to run it you don't care about the speed then you can download the medium version or you can download both and just try with them so you, by clicking on them it will automatically download which i've done that so we we'll head over back to the ID and place them in the same directory that you are working where you can access them. So mine is in the same directory I'm working. And the next thing you do is to import these libraries we'll be using. So we are importing CVZone. As usual, we use it to stack our frames together. Then the model, since we are using a YOLO V8 model, we are importing it from Autralytics. And then we'll be using opc v2 reading our video frames and also process them after that what you have to do is to get the path to your video file that you want to run the inference on the video file which you want to detect the drones on them a variable name video here and this is the lo particular location on my desktop where i have that particular video so you just need to copy it and paste it here from that we are creating a video capture object which we are going coming to read this video so we pass in this video as args and then the next step is to instantiate our model so we said yolo and we are reading the particular model we've downloaded here we are saving everything to face model we create a while loop to take our video frame we resize the video frame to this particular shape which you can change and then we grab a copy of the same video so just making a copy of this resized video here to get our coordinates we iterate through the face results so but first we need to send our video feed because we have processed it resize it we need to send it to our model for our model to predict whether there is drawn in them or not so we are passing in the video feed here and this will return to us our results so the results will be in the form of the bounding box you can also get the confidence and whatsoever so in our case, we just need a bounding box. So we trade through it for some couple of times. Then we get our bounding box location. After getting them, they are going to be float values. So we have to convert them or cast them into integer values. And that's what we are doing right here. After this, since we'll be using CV zone, if you want to use OPCV, then you can use these ones to just draw a rectangle. But since we need or we want a very nice looking rectangle, so we are calculating for the height and the width by just subtracting y1 from y2 and y uh, x1 from x2 to get the height and the width so after getting this height and the width we can go on to use cv zone to draw a nice looking rectangle giving it x1 y1 and our width and height okay so over here we are drawing the same rectangle on our main video so that we can see the main video and also see actual video we are doing the detection on so we are cropping the area where we are detecting the rectangle and then after this we stack all those videos together so we have the main video and the video we started with so we are just stacking them giving it the number of columns and also giving it the size so we want 70 percent 
then for the final thing here we are doing is to show it so we are showing them all here and we are using the IM show function from OPCV to show it then after showing it we release our capture device and we destroy every window so that's all we are doing and let's run this to test and here we go so you can see we are detecting it so uh, the second field we are just cropping it from the first field and we are taking the area where the drone is detected so you can see like we are doing something like anonymization whereby we cover the whole drone and that's it so i have a second video which will try this on it's called drone so i'll just write drone it's in the same directory so you can just put all your videos you want to run inference on the same directory and you can see how it's detecting them so in my opinion i think the model is not that accurate enough because it doesn't quite detect the drones well and you can read more about the model maybe not enough data set is used to train them or a whole lot it can be a whole lot of factors so guys um this is my take on the model let me know what you'll be using this particular model for what you think about it and leave all your comments in the comment section for me guys i really need them so as usual thanks for watching if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out and I'll see you in the next tutorial.